Hi everyone. Okay, so this is what the complete um, finished color coats look like. So, so far we have two coats of Hel um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails as our base coat. And then we have one color coat of Nicole OPI. I decided to go with only one since it covered so well. And then we have one coat of the Pure Ice Sparkle. And then we did a few little uh, lines on the tips, vertical lines. And actually, now that I look at it under the light, it really does sparkle more on the tips of the nails. So it does kind of give a winter ice effect, like icicles or something, or frost. And it's quite lovely, and it's sort of, um, I don't know if it can be seen here or not, but it, because of the 3D effect, it looks sort of like your nail tips are crusted with sparkle, which is really pretty. And uh, now, um, I don't have much time, and most people don't have much time, so I use the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry Top Coat, which you can put on 30 seconds after you've put um, a coat of color on, and it will dry the nail polish for you again in about 30 seconds, to the point where if you contacted something with your nails, um, it will not damage it. If you do contact something before that time, I just bought this product, which I like, called Orly. Um, it's Quo by Orly. It's called Smudge Fix. And um, this is a clear coat which you can paint over any smudge that you make on your nails. And it will smooth out the smudge and, and smooth everything pretty much back to normal. So this is a really useful product, but we're not going to use that today. We're going to use the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry to dry this nail polish. And after that, I'm going to apply the Sally Hansen No-Chip Top Coat. And I will apply a coat of this every day until I change my manicure. So it freshens up the manicure, it shines it up, and it helps prevent it from chipping. Um, it doesn't totally prevent it from chipping, but it helps a bit. So, and then by then you have about 10 coats of nail polish on, and believe me, nothing is going to break your nails. As long as you learn how to handle your hands a little bit differently uh, once they get longer, to avoid breaking them, um, basically, when you reach for something uh, and you have long nails, you learn pretty quickly to reach for things with your um, hands curled under so that you don't inadvertently jam your nail into something and break it. Uh, as I mentioned before, also try not to get them wet all the time. Uh, you can most certainly um, soak them a little bit to, to get the uh, nail beds clean, to get it clean. Um, but in general, uh, you should try and keep them dry, and if you do get them wet, um, try and wait for them to become drier and stronger before you do anything involving your hands, because they will bend and break very easily once they've been uh, allowed to get wet. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Coat over this, and it's going to dry everything in a matter of seconds which is great. They used to have a wonderful spray as well, uh, but I have to admit, I think this is easier, and if you have pets or, well, even people, children or anything, some of the other products can disturb the uh, balance of the freshness of the air in your house and put in unwanted pollutants and who knows what we're breathing, so... But anyway, okay, so I will do the same thing with this uh, top coat. I'm going to put a little bit around the inside edge of each nail, and that will also help the edges not to snag, which helps prevent chipping. So this nail, this manicure should last you about five to six days as long as you apply a coat of the no chip every night while you have the manicure. And you can also repair it fairly easily as well. I find for some reason that my middle finger, the polish will chip off in a big huge piece 
at some point and if I do have to do any kind of uh, damage repair it's usually to the middle finger. Um, when you get a lot of polish on it can just chip and peel off uh, in one giant chunk. But in general, if you're applying your, your top coat uh, top up every night, then that doesn't happen and the manicure lasts as long as you need it to last. You should be doing your manicure about once a week, not more often. You can do it while you're watching TV. That's what I do. Um, some of the more complicated ones can take several hours because you have to allow for the coats of polish to dry in between. And uh, that's why I say for now, um, I think a simple one that everybody can do is a nice idea. So this is the winter ice theme, Shelley's winter ice theme. Okay, so we're going to wait till that's dry, which is just like a few seconds. And then we're going to complete our manicure with the Sally Hansen No Chip Top Coat. And we'll have these wonderful nails for about a week. Um, only applying the coat of this every night. So, I'm already dry to the touch with the Insta Dry. So now I'll apply this no chip top coat over top of that and it helps really seal the manicure and really amps up the shine so like your nails just pop and then if you're like me and you have arthritic knuckles and things that you don't really like people to notice hopefully they're gonna stare at the manicure and they're not gonna notice your knuckles so. Uh, really fun. I always look forward to doing this once a week. Like I said, if you want to go on YouTube, there are so many designs out there that are really cool. Um, some of them take more skill than others though, like I mentioned. And uh, there is hope though for people that are left hand challenged or that have trouble doing the same manicure on the opposite hand. Um, you can actually train your brain uh, to be able to do it by force of repetition. So if you choose a simple design in the beginning, like I'm going to show you, where you're just basically using uh, vertical lines, which is something everybody can draw and hopefully draw from the left hand onto the right hand or from the right onto the left if you're a left-handed person. And um, that way it won't be as difficult. Or just stick to some of the similar designs. It looked like I smudged that one, so I'm going to put some of the smudge fix on that in a minute and get a chance to show you how that works. It's pretty neat. Works really well. In a moment, you won't even notice that I did that. Um, the only reason that happened is because the uh, icicle polish on the end of the nail, the, the sparkle, as I mentioned, has a tendency of thicken up to the extreme. And uh, that's why that happened, because it was still thick there. So, I'm almost done my no chip coat. And I think I see a bit of a smudge there too. So, I can get the smudge fix. Over here. And now, watch this. There is the smudge, and I'm just going to put the smudge fix right on the edge where that's happened. And it sort of liquefies the nail polish again so that you can smooth it out and cover the smudge. And there you go, no more smudge. The next thing you have is beautiful nails. So with just a little bit of cleanup around the edges, you are ready to go out and knock people dead with these nails. 